So I'm filming my current sneaker rotation for Instagram today. So I thought I'll quickly show you guys. And I have my socks laid out um, for what socks I want to wear together with the sneakers for the video. So yeah, you guys know I love a pair of good socks. And also, I just got the new Apothecary 3.0 socks. And they are so, so nice. They're super soft. So I have like a few of their other ones here. And they're really good as well. But I feel like they really like took it to the next level with these ones. They're super, super comfortable. And also I love the little detail here where you can fold down the socks and it says high stakes. And this is what it looks like. And then you can also see it has like the apothecary branding on the toe. Really, really love it. So I was planning on wearing this like white socks with my Jordan 1 Low Starfish. I have my Sakai Vapor Waffles and this is like a throwback. I haven't worn these in a while and I took them out recently and I forgot how much I love them. So I'm gonna start wearing them again. And the reason why I stopped wearing it as much was because I kind of like how it looks like that because you guys know the more that you wear it the outer layer or this paint layer will chip off and then you can see the artwork underneath but i kind of like when it's like still somewhat intact so with my black sneakers i generally just wear my nike crew socks i guess that's what you call it and then i have my salehi new balances i love these so much and you guys know that my subscriber craig gifted these to me and i'm planning on wearing these like baby pink apothecary socks to go with it because i think it matches really well with like this color of the sneaker and then last but not least I have my Amar Manir 3s because again one of my favorite pickups this year and it's just such a beautiful pair of sneakers and I plan on wearing these like taupey neutral kind of socks because I think the color goes well together so yeah this is my current sneaker rotation and I just realized as well when I have these two next to each other the Jordan 1 Lowe's looks so much smaller compared to the Vapor Waffles because first of all, this is like in a men's size 7, my true size is a men's US 6 but because it has this like protruding like outsole or like sole area um, it just looks huge compared <laughs> to my Jordan 1 Lowe's but anyway guys, I'm gonna start filming this little thing for Instagram and I'll see you in a little bit. Good morning guys. So I know the vlog started off a bit weird. I was showing you guys some sneakers and that was yesterday and I spent all day trying to film this like IGTV reels thing and then I was so tired by the end of the night and then when I went to like look at the footage, I wasn't like that happy with it. <sighs> I know. So anyway, today I woke up super early well yesterday i was up since like 4 a.m because i couldn't sleep and i decided to get out of bed super early and then i went to bed yesterday at like 9 p.m because i was so tired and then this morning i woke up because i need to redo some bits of the video um and then today i need to put it together so i feel like it might take me a while i don't know whether it's just me but i take a while editing and also in some ways, I think I'm a bit of a perfectionist. I don't know. But then again, like I don't feel like my work is like that good. Anyway, I'm just like quite particular with certain things. And so I want to film a bit more today with the outfits. And I was going to do like my current rotation also with outfits. So that is why I'm wearing this today. And I actually really like how the fit is. Like it just sort of came together. So this is the Brook Brook. <laughs> so this is the Brooklyn Museum merch that I showed you guys previously and I love this color so much I'm so glad I picked this up and it matches so well with these beige pants from Rain. I don't know what I'm doing but I feel like the back seam of the pants is like splitting <laughs> a little bit and it's not because the pants are too like small either maybe it's just the material so I'm a bit sad because I really like these pants and yeah it goes really well with this like this colorway and so because there's a bit of orange here that is why I decided to wear my Jacquemus bucket hat and also because my hair is not it and I'm gonna wear hold on with this fit I'm planning on wearing my New Balance Salehi 2002 hours that 
Craig, one of my amazing subscribers, kindly gifted to me. And yeah, I feel like this, this is a look, right? I don't know. We will see. But anyway, guys, I am going to start filming. And then I think later today, I really need to get a cup of coffee. It is now 8.40, which is not too bad. I have no idea what I've been doing. I woke up at 6. How am I just starting <laughs> to film now? So anyway, um, I'll see you guys in a little bit. You guys, the struggle is very real. I was trying to take my own photo for the cover photo for the IGTV. And my idea was to like hold all my current, like everything that's in my current sneaker rotation. The camera is not even straight. I'm so sorry, you guys are on a tripod, but I was trying to adjust it with one hand. But yeah, hopefully everything turned out okay because this is the second time that I'm trying to do it all and I'm really, really hoping that it's fine. But I'm so hungry right now and I need to go get some groceries because there's pretty much no food in my apartment right now. And I'm so tempted to like get takeaway. Should I? I don't know because I really can't be bothered cooking anything right now. First of all, there's nothing to cook and I was planning on maybe making some noodles but even then, I don't want to do it because I have to wash up and stuff and I would usually have like some yogurt and fruit but I have none of that. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna put some of the stuff away because again, I've created another mess. I'm sorry if the lighting's not very good. I'm just in my little editing corner. So you know how I told you guys I was so hungry before and I was deciding if I should get food delivered. So I didn't and I made myself like make food at home and I made this veggie soba noodle salad kind of thing. It wasn't very exciting so that's why I didn't show you but I had some cucumbers and some carrots and then like frozen edamame. It wasn't amazing but at least it filled me up and I made myself an iced matcha latte because I haven't had any coffee today. So I'm sitting here now because I need to edit this video and it's due tomorrow morning so I'm like stressing even though I have plenty of time. I'm just like really stressed when I have to submit something um, to like a brand or like yeah to whoever I'm working with um, because yeah I just want to make sure that I do my best and I just I just want to make sure the content is good you know um, so yeah I reviewed the footage that I shot earlier today and I feel like now I have enough clips to make the IGTV so yeah I don't know I've never posted an IGTV so I don't I don't know if you guys see it, <laughs> I hope you guys give it a thumbs up. It should already be up by the time you watch this vlog. Um, and yeah, guys. Uh, okay, I need to stop chatting. I also got my groceries delivered. I was meant to go and get some groceries. And then I just couldn't really be bothered because I have to buy so many things. And it gets really heavy. And so I just decided to get delivered. And it should arrive in like an hour or so, apparently. According to Woolies. That is what they said, but I've noticed with their delivery windows, it's never like accurate and sometimes like they, they don't even tell me. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, I'll be at home anyway, so I'll wait for my groceries. But in the meantime, I am going to edit my video and I thought I'll just check in and hopefully the next time you see me, I will have at least something exciting to tell you guys about. So my groceries finally arrived and I've been craving yogurt and I thought I'll try this flavor. I saw it online, I thought it looked interesting. It's caramelized spiced pears. I don't usually go for anything that's pear flavored, but the spiced element sounded really good. So I thought I'll give it a go. And yeah, I have no idea where the day has gone. It's like almost six o'clock now, which is usually when I have dinner. <laughs> I know that's a little early, but I'm just gonna have a quick snack because I still have to finish up the video. I just have like one little bit to add to the video and then I need to do the thumbnail and then I will be done. I'm so glad <laughs> that I kind of almost finished it because yeah, I was really stressing about it. And also guys, I am probably the only person that hasn't seen Squid Game. Everyone is talking about it and I feel like I really need to get into it but it's because I've had so many things to do over the last few days that I couldn't watch it. Well, I feel like I'm one of those people where if something's really good, 
like I need to binge watch the whole thing and so everyone that I know is saying that it's so so good every single episode apparently will have you like sitting on the edge of your seat so I you know wasn't trying to tempt myself so I haven't seen it just yet but I will definitely get into it let me know in the comments below if you guys have seen Squid Game and whether it's good but anyway I'm gonna try my yogurt Mmm, they're like little bits of pear and I can definitely taste cinnamon. I think it would be even better if I added a little bit more cinnamon. But recently I've been back on this yogurt wave, like I've just been loving having yogurt for breakfast and some overnight oats and I wanted to have that today. I made my overnight oats and then I realized I had no yogurt so that is why I'm having my yogurt right now. Anyway guys, I'm gonna have this and then, um, yeah, I don't know, we'll see. You guys, I'm so excited because my Farfetch order has finally arrived and you know what? My own Farfetch coat expired so I didn't even have a discount coat for this item which is like, what am I doing? I should have just looked up someone else's discount code. But anyway, I've been wanting this item for so, so long. I don't know if you guys can guess, but it's been in my cart for weeks. And every single day, I'll go onto like the app and check whether it's still available because it was saying that it was like the last one left. And I kind of knew that if it sold out, I would like low-key regret it and also for some reason um, in the particular size that I got it was like $500 cheaper than every other site and so I was convinced it was like priced wrongly but the price didn't change and eventually last week I pulled the trigger and I bought it. Obviously it's not a pair of shoes because you guys can see the box is pretty small but I'm so excited for this so I thought I'll quickly do an unboxing together with you guys because I actually need to film um, something for the IGTV that I was working on. Um, it's just like a little intro thing but I really wanted to wear this for that video. Um, so yeah, I thought I will quickly unbox it to show you. I'm so excited. I'm really hoping like sizing wise it fits and also I wish I have like a new like Farfetch discount code because mine expired last month, I think. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Hopefully I'm able to work with Farfetch again because you guys know that I shop with them all the time. Even before like I started working with them, I've been like a huge fan of the site. So that is so cute. It says have a nice day. So this came from a shop in Italy and okay. I'm just gonna rip into it. <gasps> Look at this. Look at this, guys. Can you see what this is? This is the Kors Sakai jumper that I've been wanting for so, so long. So initially, I wanted the more colorful one, um, but I guess because this was cheaper. <laughs> so I ended up going for this and I was like convincing myself that I would wear this more compared to the colorful one but like honestly I I just love like anything coarse you guys can see so I'm so happy that I picked this up and let's have a look and it is here. <gasps> It is so beautiful! Look at this! Oh my gosh, so that is the front and then this is the back of the jumper and then of course they have the zip details here on the side of the jumper and yeah, I'm so excited for this. So I got this in a size 2 which is a medium and it kind of looks like my size so I'm so happy. On the website, the model which was like a guy was wearing a size 3 and they had his height and he seemed pretty tall so I was like yeah I'm definitely not a size 3. So I went a size down which is a size 2 and I'm so happy. This was definitely a splurge and yeah it's because I had it in my cart for so long and real talk though it's because last week um, I was debating again on another item that I wanted for a long time which is the Jordan Travis Lowe's and I really really wanted them and I went to a store but they didn't have my size and so I guess because they didn't have that so I thought I'll 
get this instead for now but I'm so happy so I'm gonna get changed quickly because I want to film that short little clip for my IGTV and yeah I'm so happy okay anyway guys I will see you maybe in a little bit I'll show you what this looks like on um, but also you guys know that in my last video I mentioned that there will be a giveaway and there will be because those sneakers finally arrived and I can't film it tonight though because you yeah, have to work on some other stuff but definitely in this vlog there will be a giveaway which I'm so so excited about and I know that you guys that watch my content like you guys that watch my vlog like I see you and yeah I just want to let you guys know that I appreciate you okay let me stop rambling. Let me get changed. I'll be right back. The sizing is actually perfect. So I changed up my bucket hat because I thought the black didn't really go with this particular look. And yeah, I love it. I'm so happy right now, guys. I'm so glad that I picked this up. So the material does feel like very luxe because it is quite a fancy <laughs> jumper that I have on right now. But size 2 is definitely my size. That's about a size medium. And yeah. What do you guys think? I really really love it and yeah, I think I'm gonna keep my bucket hat on for my IGTV thing because the hair is not looking cute. I was wearing my black bucket hat all day so my hair looks super flat. So yeah, I just wanted to quickly show you guys what it looks like. This is the back, I don't know if you guys can see. And also, it is kind of like, it's not really a mock neck but you guys can see it's like higher than like a regular sort of jumper but I think the sizing is super perfect and I'm so happy because you guys know how much I've been talking about this particular collection obviously there's so many pieces that I want but they're really expensive and I know I bought that hoodie the white one but I really wanted something with the actual artwork so I finally pulled the trigger and this is it and I'm very happy right now so anyway um, the next bit of this video I will do some sneaker unboxing that will probably be tomorrow um, but I thought I'll just check in for now so I'll see you guys tomorrow it's been a few days since that last clip but I'm wearing the same thing <laughs> because I just really wanted to wear my new jumper and I haven't had the chance to actually wear this anywhere so I thought I'll just keep it for the video so I hope you guys don't mind but we're finally here to unbox some sneakers and also as promised there will be a giveaway which I'm so excited about but anyway let's get into the first pair of sneakers it is a pair of Jordan 4s in the shimmer colorway and these are so beautiful look at them I feel like the release dates has been like different for like different parts of the world and here in Australia um, I think we're just releasing it this Tuesday if I'm not mistaken and like look at this it is so so nice so initially when I first saw like images of this and when I saw that it was called shimmer I thought it may have a little bit of like sparkly material on the upper if that makes any sense for example the starfish jordan 4 as you guys can see the upper sort of has this shimmery overlay and this to me screams <laughs> i don't know what that was but this to me screams shimmer and so when i heard that this was called shimmer i was kind of expecting a little bit of that shimmery element and i'm so glad that it doesn't not that it was a bad thing but this definitely exceeds what i anticipated it to look like and it is just a very elegant luxe looking sneaker i guess the only like shimmer element on the sneaker would be the jumpman logo on the tongue but besides that i can't see anything that shimmery about it and I feel like I'm saying shimmer <laughs> or shimmery way too many times also when I first saw these they reminded me of the hand scheme Jordan 4s I hope you guys know what I'm talking about but that was definitely a huge thing like quite a few years ago and I really really wanted a pair but they were quite expensive and so I never ended up getting a pair and also I heard that they're not very comfortable please let me know in the comments below if you guys ever had a pair of Hander Schemes like 
anything it doesn't matter which silhouette you had but I always wanted one and I remember someone telling me that if you went to the actual store in Japan which I feel like wasn't easy to find either but they did say that it is slightly cheaper retail wise and I haven't really looked into anything Hannah Scheme recently but I know it was definitely a huge thing a few years back and they even had an Adidas collab if I'm not mistaken Am I imagining this? I don't think so. But anyway, we're going off topic. <laughs> Just overall, this is such a beautiful pair of sneakers. The quality is on point. There is a mix of nubuck and leather and it just looks very luxe and I cannot say enough good things about this. And also, um, when I first saw images of this, I thought it may be similar to the Off-White Force in terms of like how it is a tonal kind of color if that makes any sense and this is the off-white fours obviously you guys can see um, they are quite different the off-white fours is much lighter and it definitely has a bit more texture compared to the shimmers but I think this is definitely worthwhile copying it is a women's release but I do think they have it in extended sizes so I really hope you guys are able to get a pair because it is so Beautiful and I love it and also it comes with a set of pink laces which I love you guys know I love a bit of pink on my sneakers I haven't actually tried like lace swapping them just yet But I think it would definitely be a vibe if you want to add a pop of color to your sneakers and yeah, I I just love these so much and I'm so so happy that I was able to pick up a pair So I just wanted to quickly show you guys what these look like on and a potential fit So I am obviously wearing the same Sakai jumper with my Jacquemus bucket hat which I wear all the time as well And this pants is from ARMY I really love like the cut of it and I think the colour complements the sneakers so well Like look at this guys Look at my very unprofessional b-roll, but I just love like the tones of this sneaker and I- Okay, wait, it's doing a weird thing. <laughs> so this pants is actually meant to be like a crop length, but because I'm not very tall, it's sort of like a regular length on me. It's a unisex pants, but yeah, I think this could be a potential outfit but as always i'll list and link everything that i mentioned in the description bar below so if i have any raffle links or any like links that will be helpful to you guys i'll put it down below and then moving on the last two sneakers that i want to show you guys they are actually oh my god they're actually <laughs> the same thing the box looks like this because it is the move to zero range so it is nike's initiative to like be more sustainable so you'll notice like with these sneakers when you open them they don't even have like that paper thing you know when you buy sneakers there's like the paper that wraps around the sneakers and also usually you'll find that there's like a paper stuffing but with these ones because it is more of a sustainable kind of sneaker it doesn't have that and I think that's really cool because most of the time you will probably chuck that out I think well I <laughs> don't chuck out um, anything that comes to my sneakers I I think it's just like something that I do even with the sneakers that I know that I would never even sell them in the future and I probably don't need the box anymore I just can't bring myself to throw away the box or even like the stuffing that it comes with maybe it's like a small minor <laughs> hoarding problem that I have I don't know if you guys are like that let me know but yeah I cannot bring myself to throw away sneaker boxes but anyway back to these sneakers they are the like move to zero dunks i think in this particular release it also came with um an all white pair so it was like white with like a white on white but like two different tones of white if that makes any sense um but i have the sort of pastel orange kind of vibe and initially also when I first saw images of this I thought they looked like the orange pearl one which is this one that I have over here and let me show you guys a quick comparison so this is the move to zero and this is the orange pearl pearl orange I don't know why I can never remember um, like the exact name for this but I love these so much I got these from Pushes quite a while ago I haven't even worn them because I I don't know guys all right my sneaker rotation just doesn't move very often but I thought I'll quickly show you guys the difference you can tell that the one below is definitely a little bit more like neon 
I don't know whether it's translating on camera but it's definitely a little bit more vibrant whereas this one is more pastel and closer to like a pinky kind of pastel but I think they're both really really nice and this one you can see with the white portions of the sneakers definitely a really really bright white and another thing you'll notice is that the outsole is in this light gray which I actually think complements the colorway really well and with the move to zero line at least 20% of the sneaker is made with recycled content which I absolutely love and in this case I think it may be in the outsole because when you look at the outsole there are these little speckles and it's similar to the space hippies which I've spoken about and they pretty much like use like ground up rubber from older outsoles and then they've put it into the new sneakers so I think that is a really cool initiative from Nike and also another difference is that you notice on the insole it has this neon green insole with the Nike pinwheel logo which is the like move to zero line and yeah I love it so much I haven't worn these yet so I don't know how they will like age over time or how they will crease and I also noticed today on the little sticker when you get your sneakers like when you get your fresh sneakers wait that sounded really weird when your sneakers are new it comes with this little like sticker on the insole so it tells you the material that the sneakers are constructed with and it says that the upper and lining and outsole is all non-leather um, which I did not realize <laughs> when I purchased them but it's totally fine I think that's not a bad thing either um, but yeah, I'm interested to see how this will crease with wear but first impression wise, I think it is a nice sneaker and I love that it is part of the move to zero line and if I'm not mistaken, I think on Instagram the other day, I think they're coming up with a panda colorway for this particular move to zero dunk which I think will be really really great and I will definitely try and get a pair but yeah this is just a quick comparison to show you guys the difference um, I think they're both great and happy to pick this up and also this one is obviously in my size which is a women's 8 this was like a women's release so if you're picking this up online just make sure you check the sizing properly and be aware that you're buying like women's size and you just have to convert it to your men's size but anyway I actually managed to pick up two pairs of these and I thought I'll give one away to you guys and this is, hold on, I can't even remember what size I got. This is a women's 11 which is a men's 9.5 and, and well now I'm just looking at this, the colorway is called pale coral. I should have said that in the beginning. Um, but yeah, I actually picked up an extra pair so that I can give it away to one of you guys. So to enter this giveaway, you guys just need to be subscribed to my YouTube channel and also make sure that you're following me on Instagram. And then once you've done that, just leave a comment down below about like anything you want. Maybe let me know your favorite pickup this year. Also, don't forget to leave either your Instagram handle or an email so that I can contact you um, if you are the winner. And yeah, I'm just so excited that we can be twinning because one of you guys will be winning this pair of sneakers. It is open internationally, so whoever that wins it, I will ship it to you. And yeah, I just want to say thank you guys for watching my video as always. And what else do I have to say? I think that's pretty much it guys. I'm feeling very warm <laughs> in this wool jumper. So plus this like bucket head as well. So I think I'm gonna end the video because I feel like I'm like sweating a little bit plus the lights. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I will also leave all the giveaway details in the description bar below just in case what I'm saying is not making any sense. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys really, really soon. Bye.